John, you also feel you have to lure them to you. Now, what do you do? You took your grandma, your grandmother died, and you took her whole house and you turned it into like a radio station? Yeah, kind of a mix Play. between a laboratory, a high voltage accelerator lab, and a radio station. That's probably a good description of it. Uh, I transmit music and cultural programs for approximately four hours a day. And we transmit, uh, right now we're running a thousand watt transmitter and it's a low frequency transmitter below the standard broadcast bands. It's on the experimental bands. And what we're trying to do is send out a signal into space, a cultural and creative music signal to try to home these uh, extraterrestrial devices, that's which what I believe them to be, in closer to the lab where we can detect them. But they have to be within uh, two to three miles or less for our detection equipment to effectively detect the electrical energy said to be given off by these. How long have you been doing this? How long have you been working this? Approximately 18 years. I've been working on this about 18 years. I've had an interest in this much that goes clear back into the early 60s. Now, in 18 years, you've been setting up these signals. And do you have, in, in a, mon you have a monitor or something that you, Right, you right. See? That's correct. Have you had anything come back? Well, in the fall of 73, there were quite a few. There was actually a, a, a nationwide flap, what they call a flap, where a lot of people see UFOs and a lot of unidentified flying objects and all this kind of stuff, and a lot of news media on it. Uh, during that time, it was right around September 13th in that area of 73 that I picked up some unusual electromagnetic disturbances coming in over the power lines. It was a disturbance I was getting also at the same time calls from, uh, from the sheriff's department in our area because people were just flooding them with calls. That was 16, uh, 16 years ago. Yeah, that was back so in 73. nothing's right. happened in 16 years? No, it's been pretty quiet, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Aside from any, yeah, that's actually been very quiet, a, a very laid back. But there's been like so reports. So don't you get discouraged? Don't you say that's enough? I mean, do you have to be there? Oh, you, you, when you say being there, it's like, well, I spend a lot of time with the yeah. station and running it and yeah. maintaining it. Uh, I don't get discouraged because I've got the the energy of creating the equipment, the energy of designing and building new forms of equipment to keep me going. Like an artist can continue to paint, even if he doesn't sell his paintings, I can continue to build equipment and work on ideas. What do you think about the Russian sighting? That's very interesting. I think that's, that right there, I think, has stirred up not only he, per, uh, a lot of curiosity in people, again, about this topic, but it also offers maybe a little more than uh, we're seeing on the surface as far as, like, newscasts on and things. I think there's something, something very interesting, especially for those children. Uh, that saw it in Russia, those uh, school-age kids. What do you think, I Calvin? think the reason they slowed down because they all have come down south to Nashville. I think that's what it slowed down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All, yeah, that might be why we're not yeah. getting so much activity if, up there. Hmm. If there are UFOs out there, <clears throat> why isn't the government say, why isn't the government say there are UFOs and hey, let's get them and, and, and have them brought down to us? Why do we have to get uh, civilians to say we think and you're doing all the work? Well, there's a very good reason for that. I think since the government has covered up this activity for so many years and, and denied it and told people that they were seeing things, I think, I think the government's... Involved. Yeah, they don't dare yeah. pop it open right now. I think it's going to show a lot of lies, a lot of cover-up. And I don't think the government wants to expose itself to that kind of uh, ridicule. Right. I think, Plain and I simple. think what government, uh, if they put out the information, it'll frighten the people. And when you keep things quiet, you know, what the people don't know about, and then they'll go along with their normal lives. He's but the governor to tell us is what's going on. Hey, shh, we gone. And where would we be gone to? Yeah, but see, I'm thinking, you three are sitting here. You can't yeah. wait for them to come down. You're trying to get them down with music. You're building Welcome to Nashville Pad. What if they come down and kill us all? What if they're not friendly? Have you thought about that? Mm, this is what... Of course. We, now, let, let me tell you yeah, this. Right. <laughs> what, what happens I, then? I met with them, some people that got two sides of it. A man give me a lecture for three hours, and I don't want to tell you what he told me, but I want to get off the project. But other what people's coming to that, that is so alien. Leave it? it alone, leave it alone. If you're going to pursue it, get close with God. So, you know, I stayed close with God, and then I thought perhaps I was on sound ground to pursue it. I think but that's we, a good point. We have other people yeah, saying, hey, definitely. they are nice folk, and let's welcome them down here. Well, when we come back, we're going to meet someone who has photographed UFOs, who says she has seen aliens close up, she has photographed them, and she's bringing the pictures with her. So, don't go away.